Hello Trapper Rod fans, we're in Crane, Missouri today. Uh, we're standing by the banks of Crane Creek. And uh, here in Missouri, this is one of the Blue Ribbon Trout Streams. This is Blue Ribbon Trout Water, part of the Missouri Trout Slam. But uh, there's a legend about Crane Creek, and we're going to talk about that today. So I'm going to tell you the legend, and then we're going to go through the facts that I found out, and think of some of the facts that have been just revealed this year in 2023. So the, the legend goes like this, that, that Crane Creek flowed through Missouri, it was a nice cold water creek, but didn't have any trout in it. Uh, there are no trout that are native to Missouri that I know of. So the legend goes that in the 1880s, the, when the railroad came through, that they stocked Crane Creek with the McLeod River Red Band Trout. Uh, most of you would know a McLeod River Red Band Trout is a rainbow trout under this this giant heading, but they're really, really more specifically, they're called Pacific trout. Uh, they have coastal rainbows, they have all these red band trout, they're just a, a large family of trout. So, the legend goes that in the 1880s, this stream got stocked specifically with the Cloud River red bands, and that it wasn't stocked again until the 1920s, and that this is the most pure form of McLeod River Red Band trout that you can find in the United States, which is pretty unique, considering the McLeod River is in California. So here's what I found out. I fished this creek, I caught a fish on it, I, I, I marked off one of my rivers on my Missouri Trout Slam, and I talked to the owner of Walnut Bend Lodge. Uh, he is a neat gentleman. He, he restored that lodge. It's got a lot of historic things in it. And he loves history. He wrote a couple of books about the history of his family and a cabin that they own uh, over to the, to the east of here. So he loves history. And I said, hey, what about this legend? He goes, you know, that'd be a great story. And it is a great story, but it's not quite factual. He said, first of all, the, the, the legend goes that these trout got here in 1880. Well, the railroad didn't come through Crane until 1920, so that's probably where we get that 1920 time area uh, era for these trout to have gotten into this, this small creek. Now, these trout did come from California, and they did come from the McLeod River. But by then, on the McLeod River, there was a fish hatchery. Uh, he said that they... Mr. Smith, he said they did come here as eggs, and they got hatched out, and they, uh, they, they got stocked as fingerlings in this creek in the 1920s. But by then, in the McLeod River, they had introduced all kinds of different Pacific trout, as humans tend to do. And so the, the genetics are not exactly pure. Then we went to the Great Plateau Fly Shop to get a couple of flies, and we talked to the owner there. And he said that he was a part of the study. He and his wife had caught 26 or 36 of the 50 fish that they took out of this creek to do a genetic test to see if they were, in fact, pure McLeod River trout. So what they found in their DNA study was that these trout, although they are heavily influenced by those McLeod River trout, are a Pacific trout hybrid. Uh, they have some coastal rainbow in them. Uh, they, they are not the purest form of the McLeod River Red Band Trout. Those trout, McLeod River Red Band Trout, now exist above a falls that separates them from the hybrid trout and the other trout that were brought in. So you have to go to California to get yourself a McLeod River Red Band Trout. Sorry about that. One of these days I'll have to go make a trip to California. God help us all. So, above that falls, you can get the purest form of the Cloud River Red Band. Below that falls, which is where the hatchery is, that these trout originally came from in the 1920s, you have a strong influence of the Cloud River Red Bands. And these trout in, in Crane Creek show a lot 
of characteristics of a McLeod River red band trout. They have that huge red band. They have giant, you know, coloration on their fins. They're gorgeous fish. They're built different than the trout you'll find at Bennett Spring or Roaring River or Montauk. They are a different fish. But some other things about this fish, they're wild fish. The trout here are, like I said, descendants of trout from a hundred years ago. They've never seen the inside of a rearing pin. They've never seen a trout pellet. They are natural fish. They're wild fish. They're spooky fish. Uh, you might get two or three casts, and then you're going to have to move up the stream, or you're going to have to sit down for 20 or 30 minutes and let the stream calm down, because they're going to they're know you're there, and they're not going to eat. Uh, there, it's a different kind of trout fishing. This is the first time I've fished in Missouri outside of a trout park. I've fished out west a lot in Colorado, Wyoming, Montana, but this is the first time I've fished outside of a trout park, and it's a very different experience. It's more of a natural experience. Uh, these trout don't react to uh, things like egg patterns and, and stimulator patterns. They like natural food. They like mayfly nymphs. They like, like uh, midges. Uh, you can catch them on dries. Yesterday I got in the middle of a beautiful cream caddis hatch, and it's late October here in Missouri, which is a little bit unusual. Uh, so come down and fish Craig Creek. You'll enjoy it. You'll have fun. If you're a trout fisherman, you'll enjoy it. Uh, it's a natural trout stream. You're going to catch natural trout that have, that have only lived in this creek. But you're not going to catch the purest form of the Cloud River Red Band trout. So there it is. There's the myth and there's the truth. Uh, these trout are beautiful trout. They are heavily influenced by the McLeod River Red Band, I believe, but they are not the purest form. So come to Crane, Missouri. Uh, come and do the Missouri Trout Slam. Uh, hone your skills on natural wild trout. It was a great experience. My wife and I had great fun down here. There's a little restaurant in Aurora called the Black Bird. Great food there. We're probably going to go there for lunch. Uh, you can go to Marionville and see their white squirrels. They are very jazzed about their white squirrels. Uh, we saw a couple of them. And just a good place to take vacation. So come down here, do some fishing. There you go. That's this installment of Trapper Rod's Outdoor Pursuits. Thanks for stopping by, and God bless.